Hi everyone, my name is Aman, I am your friend, mentor and coach from HayatRozgar.com. Everyone wishes to go abroad, study and make fortune. Today we are going to talk about a country which has been under radar for a very long time. A country of clash of clans, a country of uh, angry birds, artificial intelligence, Nokia, Cone, Robotics. Yes, you have guessed it right. We are going to talk about Finland. Finland is a country which has only 55 million people with more than 1 million job opportunities coming up in the next one year. Finland is a country which has number one education. This is not what I am saying, the entire world says. Finland is a country which has more jobs and fewer graduates. Finland is a country which believes in equality. Today, we are going to talk about the education system, the universities and the fees and the cost of living. Let's talk about, first let's talk about the education system. Finland is a country where students don't spend most of the time in classes like our country and most of the other countries. In Finland, you have to spend around 30% of your time in the classes and 70% in your labs, practicals and on job. In Finland, a student, a kid, I'm sorry, a kid is not allowed to go to school until he or she is 7 years old. In our country, we have a race of sending our students to schools at the age of 3 or 4. In Finland, you are not allowed to teach a kindergarten if you do not have a master's degree. Now, this is about the education system, world's best. Let's talk about the type of universities Finland has. In Finland, there are two types of universities. And just for your FII, Finland, all the universities in Finland, they are government controlled, except one, which is uh, Helvas. Uh, all the universities are managed and controlled by the government there. Two types of universities as I mentioned. One is University of Applied Sciences and the second is University. Now what is University of Applied Sciences? Uh, to give you an example, like in India you have Polytechnic and ITI. The difference is in India you get a diploma but in Finland you get a degree. These University of Applied Sciences, they focus more on skill-oriented courses, job-oriented courses. But universities, they focus more on research-based and doctoral courses. This is the basic difference. Now, let's talk about how you can go to Finland. See, going to Finland is not tough at all. The country has just opened up their gates. You need to have a minimum of 5.5 IELTS in some of the courses and in some of the courses you need 6 IELTS. There are a couple of colleges and universities. They do not even take IELTS. They only take your motivational videos or they will do a Skype interview with you. The fees? Oh my my. It's absolutely economical. One year of education in Australia is equivalent to 4 years of education in Finland. Yes. I'm not saying it just for the heck of saying it. You can do your calculation and you can do your maths. In Finland, one year of graduation will cost you somewhere around 6,000 euros to 7,500 euros. That is around uh, uh, 6,000 euros is uh, 4,80,000 and uh, 7 lakh, 7,000 euros would be around 5,60,000 euros. For your post-graduation, you will have to spend somewhere around... Uh, 9,000 euros to 12,000 euros and 9,000 euros is uh, 7,20,000 euros and then you can do the calculation. Cost of living is again very economical in Finland. You will not have to spend more than 550 to 700 euros uh, in a month and that would include your fooding as well. And the reason behind that you're going to get so much uh, you know subsidized food and accommodation is that there you get a student union card. In a year, you pay around 30 to 50 euros. In some colleges, some universities, it is 30 euros. In some universities, it is around 40 to 45 euros. With that one student union card, you will get everything subsidized. 
For an example, if I go to Finland, if I have to eat lunch at a university, it will cost me around 5 euros. But for a student, it will cost 2 euros. If I have to travel by a bus or a train, it will cost me 3 euros. But for him or her, it will cost 1 or 1.5 euros. So this is how you're going to save your money. The most important part, which last but not the least, is your part-time work visa. How many hours of work is allowed? Most of the countries, they say you'll have to work 20 hours every fortnight. Some say 10 hours in a week, some say 15 hours in a week. But in Finland, you get 25 hours per week. That is around 100 hours in a month. On an average, a student is paid 9 to 10 euros per hour if you work Monday to Friday. But if you work on a Saturday, Sunday, it is 18 to 20 euros. And trust me, friends, on an average, a student makes around 1100 to 1300 euros in a month. Now just do the maths. Your expenses are 700 euros. You make 1300 euros. You are saving on an average 600 euros. In a year, you save 4800 euros to 5000 euros. That's a pretty good amount of saving. With this money, you can actually pay your next year's fees. So, with this, uh, I would like to take your leave now. I think uh, I have explained uh, pretty good things about Finland. In my next video, I'm going to come up with all the universities that I have, all the university representatives that I've met and uh, the courses they have told me. Uh, in my next video, we are going to talk about a university which is very famous for their business school and the name of the university is Help Us. So for my next video, wait and try and see what you can get out of it. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.